You live in Dandytown with all your favorite dandy characters like Desperate Dan, Percy Payne, Beryl the Peril, Winker Watson, Corky the Cat, Brain Dwayne, and many many more. You live in Dandytown with all your favorite dandy characters like Desperate Dan, Percy Payne, Beryl the Peril, Winker Watson, Corky the Cat, Brain Dwayne, and many many more. And today, we got Adam Gillum in Enter the Dandytown. It's been a while since you last visited Dandytown with your favorite dandy characters, but today you receive a letter from the mayor of Dandytown, informing you that the town is in dire need of your help, as a mysterious evil force has been unleashed upon the town, causing chaos and destruction everywhere. In 51, Fastolf Avenue returned to Adam's house. As you arrive at Adam's house, you notice that it looks much different than it did when you last saw it. The front door is cracked open, and the lawn is overgrown with weeds. As you walk inside, you see that the furniture has been overturned, and the living room is filled with broken glass and rubble. You who lives at Talking Desperate Dan doing Adam. Desperate Dan looks up from his latest adventure in Dandertown and greets you with a grin, Hey there, Adam. What brings you to my house? You explain to him that you received a letter from the mayor of Dandytown informing you that the town is in dire need of your help in stopping the mysterious evil force that has been unleashed upon it. You say, of course, Desperate Dan. Adam he said. Desperate Dan nods and says, of course, Adam. Let me just finish up this adventure and I'll be ready to help. He then turns to you and adds, but for now, how about we go on a little adventure of our own? Let's see if we can find out more about this evil force and put a stop to it. You Adam Gillum and Desperate Dan all the way in Dandytown. You and Desperate Dan make your way through the winding streets of Dandytown, with the sound of destruction and chaos all around you. As you walk, you notice that the buildings are in various states of disrepair and some of them are on fire. You say, Dan, you are greedy more that cow pies with any times. Desperate Dan chuckles and replies, greed is good, Adam. It's what drives us to conquer new lands and conquer new worlds. And it's what allows us to build everything we need to thrive. He then adds, but let's not get greedy. You say, sorry, Dan. Desperate Dan laughs and says, it's okay, Adam. We'll just have to be more careful in our conquests. But I must say, I'm glad you're here to help out. Dandytown needs all the help it can get right now. You say, here comes Corky the Cat, Cuddles and Dimples, Corporal Clot, Bully Beef and Chips and many more. As you approach Corky, the Cat, you notice that he looks up at you with a mischievous glint in his eye. Greetings, Adam, he says with a grin. I see you brought your friends with you. How can I help? You Adam pretends that not Beano Town. Is Dandy Town to all your friends? Desperate Dan chuckles and says, you're a sly one, Adam. You pretend that not-so-friendly neighbors are not your friends. But of course, we're all friends here in Dandytown. We're just trying to stop the evil force that's causing chaos and destruction everywhere. You, wait a minute, think Adam. You turn to Desperate Dan and ask, wait a minute. Are you saying that all of these people in Dandytown are friendly to us? That's quite a claim. Desperate Dan nods and says, yes, Adam. We're all friends here. We're just trying to stop the evil force that's causing chaos and destruction everywhere. You say, what's the biggest of comics? Desperate Dan chuckles and replies, Adam, let's not talk about comics for now. We have more important matters to attend to. But if you ever want to know more about our comic book loving friend, Corky, just ask him. He knows everything about comics. You what did you get dandy friends? There be not talking to Adam Gillum is no asking their stranger. Desperate Dan looks at you with a raised eyebrow and says, Adam, I think you need to focus on the task at hand. We have important matters to attend to and we can't waste time on pointless conversations. You desperate Dan he reply, you need Dundee as middle in Scotland at DC Thompson. Desperate Dan nods and says, ah, Dundee. That's right. We need to find a way to stop the evil force before it reaches that far. But I think we'll have to do it quietly and without drawing attention to ourselves. Do you have any ideas? You Adam, was go to magazines if they're issues in years. 
Desperate Dan nods and says, that's a good idea. Maybe we can look through old magazines and newspapers for any clues or information that could lead us to the source of the evil force. It could be something as simple as a newspaper article or a discarded clue that we might have missed. Meanwhile, Adam Gillum was championship that memories solve all the time. You shake your head and say, I don't know, Dan. I think we need to focus on finding a way to stop the evil force in Danditown. Let's not get distracted by irrelevant things like old magazines and newspapers. As you continue walking, you notice a group of people gathered around a bulletin board. You Corky thinks Adam. You turn to Corky and ask, what do you think, Corky? Is there something on that bulletin board that could be important? Corky looks at the board and then says, well, there's a notice about a missing child. It might be related to the evil force. You say, I was born in the 90s by the way. Corky looks at you with a raised eyebrow and says, well, Adam, it could be something. But we need to be careful. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves or cause any trouble. You nod in agreement and continue walking with desperate Dan and the rest of the group. You much later. Adam waving say goodbye to the dandy town. As you wave goodbye to the dandy town, you notice that the sun has set and the sky is painted with a beautiful array of colors. You also catch a glimpse of Corky and his friends watching you from a distance. You say, see you later, desperate Dan. Desperate Dan chuckles and says, yes, Adam. We'll see you later. But remember, we need to be careful and not attract too much attention to ourselves. You nod and wave goodbye before heading back to your own town, ready to face whatever challenges come your way. You the next day, Adam Gillum live at home in bed. The next day, you wake up feeling groggy and disoriented. You stumble out of bed and head to the bathroom, where you splash some water on your face and brush your teeth. As you get dressed, you realize that you have a meeting with your boss in a few hours and you need to prepare for it. You say, if only who back to Dandy Town make a wish to say good night. As you make your way to your meeting with your boss, you remember that you have a few more things to do before you head back to Dandy Town. You decide to make a wish and say good night to Desperate Dan and the rest of the Dandy Town gang. Adam Gillum went to bedroom the next television on Millionaire. You make your wish and close your eyes, feeling the warmth of the sun on your face. You think about all the amazing adventures and experiences you've had since you first arrived in Danditown, and you know that there's so much more to come. The End Take a turn. Continue. Retry. Erase.